the Beltway Series coming up. Game one of two. And for the Nationals, after putting runs on the board and coming from behind to win 7-6 over Cleveland on Sunday, as Davey Martinez has done before, hey, a big offensive output. He's coming right back with that same lineup. Josiah Gray looking for his first win in his fourth start. He's 0-3 of 4.32 ERA. And his last two starts been very good. Deserved better. Five and two-thirds innings in his last start against the Angels in Anaheim Tuesday. Gave up two runs, only four hits, struck out three and walked two. But the Nationals could not score against Shoei Otani in the Angels' bullpen and lost the game two to nothing. And on the other side, you're facing a team that has just scored run after run after run. 94 runs for the Orioles in their 16 games. That's second in the major leagues. Two men away here at the top of the first inning. And here is Ryan Mountcastle, the designated hitter. Had him reaching, might have broken his bat. Dominic Smith leading Josiah to the bag. And Mountcastle gone to make it a 1-2-3 inning for the young right-hander. After a half, the Orioles don't score. Washington coming to bat against Dean Kramer. Kramer making start number four of the year. Still looking to get back to that form from a year ago. Kramer has given up a lot of home runs so far, five in 12 and a third innings. For Dominic Smith, he's aboard with one out, and it brings up Joey Manessis. The 2-1 offering. Ground ball headed up the middle, right at Frazier. He's got it. Flipped to Mateo for one on the first. You can count it for two. It's a 4-6-3 double play, so the double play ball helps Kramer out. We are through one in D.C. Orioles nothing, Nationals nothing. The right-hander Kramer hits Candelario. So a leadoff base runner, second batter that Kramer has hit. Will loop this one softly into right side. Tondair comes on and makes the catch. A forward lean and a slide as Anthony takes away a hit. Well, Tony's been playing some D now out in right field. Made an outstanding play against the White Sox. Went to the line this time out toward right center field and tracks that one down. You know Dean Kramer appreciates that. So a hit by pitch to start, but nothing more through two in D.C. No score. Third inning, Orioles and Nationals. No score here at Nationals Park. It's the number nine batter leading off for the Orioles. Their first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Gray strikes him out with a high slider. First strikeout for Josiah Gray. As he fans Ryan O'Hearn to begin the top of the third. Cedric Mullins. Grounded to Candelario at third his first time. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Swing and a miss. He looked late for a 90 cutter upstairs. Back to back strikeouts on the cutter. And a good start to the last of the third with no score between the Nats and the O's. So Abrams out at first with speed. National second hit. Here's Victor Robles. Robles. That's fair. Long throw. Henderson. And it gets by O'Hearn. Everybody's safe. Henderson got nothing on the throw, but it looked like it was going to still skip and be in time. That initial step in by Gunnar Henderson, and then he plays it back. He just couldn't get that momentum. This guy's got a great arm. Victor running it out hard. Well, second and third, nobody out. Lane Thomas up there trying to seal the deal in a hurry. And Kramer gets the strikeout here. Rolled that sinker right back over the outside corner. So Kramer picks a good time for him to get his first strikeout. And so now with one out, Dom Smith, the batter, four RBIs this season, one for one tonight with a bloop single. Finish, he can. Three straight heaters at 97 to dispose of Dom Smith. Here is Joey Manessis. They had second and third, no outs. Now it's second and third, two outs. And Kramer gets his man. And the Nationals, after runners, are second and third. Go down with three strikeouts in a row. What a job by Dean Kramer. No score, top of the fourth. Second walk for Gray. Moves Mountcastle to second. Two on, one out. And the hot-hitting Austin Hayes. And Hayes drills it into left field. That's hit so hard, but Mountcastle's going to try it anyway, and he will score on a wild throw. Back to second, though. Hayes is out on the back pick from Ruiz. An aggressive send by Tony Mancellino, though, works out at the plate as Hayes drives in Mount Castle and Baltimore gets the first run. Boy, it wasn't hit extremely hard, but hit in the right spot. Looked like a ball gets in on the hands and a really good read by Mount Castle. He comes flying around. The throw by Garrett, nowhere close, but a nice job by Ruiz to backhand this ball from that catcher's position and throws a dart down to second to get Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes drives in a run. Orioles lead the Nationals 1 0 at the bottom of the fourth. Josiah Gray, sixth inning, Orioles 1. On the Nationals, nothing. Santander with a double and a pop-up. 3-2 pitch, here it is. Way too high and outside. That slider was not close at all. And that's a leadoff walk and a nine-pitch at bat. We'll see how much more Roe Gray has 
And right now the answer is none. So the Orioles goal get the starter out by the fifth. Ray goes five plus and he leaves in a one nothing game. The new pitcher is the big redheaded Texan Mason Thompson appearance number eight. He is one and one. He picked up the win on Sunday is ERA 159 11 and a third innings force out for out number one. The Orioles will take the trade though. They get better speed at first in Frazier. Here's Austin Hayes. Hayes drove in the game's only run. He was hitting 467 in his previous seven games. Runner goes. They try to stay out of the double play. How about a throw into a double play? A bullet by K. Bert Ruiz. Strike him out. Throw him out. How about that? Down goes Hayes. Frazier caught stealing. So the inning over. Top of the ninth inning. The Orioles with a fourth inning run are clinging to it. Leading the Nationals one to nothing. And the Nationals will bring on their fourth pitcher of the night. Third reliever. Rosmo Ramirez comes on now. Frazier's bounced to short. Walked. And grounded into a force play at second base. And again upstairs. One out. Both bullpens unhittable. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. All with the cutters. Two quick outs by Ramirez. And now it'll be Gunnar Henderson, the third baseman, who's walked, fouled out to third, lined out to left. Swing and a miss. The eraser does it to five, six, and seven. Good inning of relief for Rosmo Ramirez. Bottom of the ninth inning, the big right hander, six foot five inch Felix Bautista, the 27 year old for the Dominican Republic, comes on for the Orioles. He's their closer. He's been in eight games so far. Two out, bottom of the ninth, one nothing Orioles. And now K. Bert Ruiz will try and make something happen here against Bautista. A ground ball to second. It was the splitter, and it is a 1 0 Orioles win. And again, it, it wasn't the great one, but the hitter told you all you needed to know. If he's out in front of 100 miles an hour, it's time for something all speed. And Bautista, without his best stuff tonight, picks up his fifth save. And boy, what a game it was for the Orioles. I mean, give Dean Kramer credit. Six and two thirds shutout. Cologne, Cano, and Bautista slam the door, and there's your offensive hero right there, Austin Hayes, with an RBI single, the only run of the game. That fourth inning hit, the lone run, the Orioles with one of their worst offensive nights of the season, but perhaps their finest pitching night. Bautista survives it for the save. Dubs and hugs for the O's. They're 10-7. They go to 6-0 in series openers this year.